first phase of a long-term relationship is the romance phase and this is the one that is typically glamorized by Hollywood and I also call this like the drug addiction phase and we're gonna get into that part in a quick second but this is very similar to what other people already know as the honeymoon stage this is when you feel like your partner is all the things they are everything they are literally perfect and can do no wrong and this phase typically begins right when you fall in love and so this is when all the butterflies are bubbling up this is when all the googly eyes are happening and you are like oh my goodness I'm so in love and I never ever ever want to be apart from this person ever ever again and so one of the things that we have to remember in this phase is that this is a very immature type of love and it's centered around in fact situation so it doesn't really have any basis and any foundation to really stand on just yet and if you are in this romance phase there's nothing wrong with it but I want to remind you guys that there are other phases that you will go through and you will understand why the romance phase is just a phase and it doesn't really add much value when you are in a long-term relationship moving forward. And so just a few seconds ago, I talked about the drug addiction part, right? So think about when you fall in love. When you fall in love, your brain and your body does a lot of funky things. And I mean, a lot of funky things. But one of the things that it does is it that is that it releases a lot of hormones. And so I call these the feel good hormones. And it's really the serotonin, the oxytocin, the dopamine that gets shot all up and through our brain and through our body. And that gives us that feeling of being in love and that we're infatuated with. So these are the same exact hormones that float through a person's body when they are addicted to a particular drug and that's why we equate the love in the romance phase with drug addiction because some of those things that happens in our body chemically also happens while we are in love now I want you to remember that for this phase there is a trap and the trap is dishonesty so we're not saying or I'm not saying that you go around particularly purposely lying to your partner but in this phase you haven't really fully revealed yourself you haven't really fully given and shown all of your cards right you t intentionally without even knowing it really you intentionally hide bits and pieces of yourself because you feel like if you bring all of your cards to the table and show your potential partner or the person you're dating who you are they may or may not rock with you and they may want to end the relationship so this particular phase and this romance phase ends when one or both parties feels like there's permanence about to happen. So that means if they want to go to the next level, if they want to be exclusive, if they want to move in together, if they want to get engaged, anything that seems a little bit more permanent, this is when the romance phase typically dies out or completely ends altogether.